black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hi, what up? What's good with y'all? Welcome to today's video. We're trying out the new Nashville hot chicken sandwich from a &W. I saw it like a week ago and I was like, I should try that. Uh, I have been craving a teen lately. Like, you know, we crave teens over here. We know that that's a burger. Okay, it's from a &W. Um, I was going to get onion rings, but it's late at night. So we have to go with the fries. And they were propped up by sauces, but uh, I just got a fries here. And yes, it is, I think it's like 11 o'clock and they close at 12. I was late night Marvin, but also who eats at 11.30 at night? People with insomnia and backwards life schedules. So that's this guy right here. Anyways, ketchup ranch, this teen burger. We got the cold root beer. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to get into this. I'm definitely ready to try this. I, I love a good Nashville chicken sandwich. So off rip, looking like that. It doesn't seem to have too much sauce. I thought the whole thing was going to be sauced. I kind of want to deconstruct a little bit. Three good pickles with the sauce. And they have that same sauce on the other bun. Smelling like a bread and butter pickle. But we'll try it straight up first. Naked and afraid. Let's get to it. Definitely a bread and butter pickle. Chicken's pretty nice. Perhaps a touch dry. But I probably chalk that up to it being the time of day. Ranch bite that I'm going. Pretty good. Not blowing my mind. I'll say that. I think the Burger King one was better probably. Got a diet tonight. But yeah, I would say my general crave for A&W lately was the inspiration for this video. But I will say I watched Vartan Fresh did an A&W breakfast video. which actually looked really, really banging. I haven't had A&W breakfast in a long, long time, but I do remember the exact last time that I had it. <laughs> and it was at like 8.30 in the morning. After partying all night. Like shenanigan ass shenanigan ask activities. And it was the closest spot to my buddy's place that we used to do have after parties at.
and I got like their full platter with the tomatoes and all that. But I gotta say, when I had it last, it did not seem near as good as how Vartan's looked. Mine was pretty subpar, to be honest. And then also I saw Team Burger. Fully loaded, bacon, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, sauces. One of my favorite burgers. I saw that ASMR Bro also just uploaded Nashville chicken sandwiches. from here so it just put me in my feelings for A&W Team burgers, definitely in my high up there. Some of my one of my favorite burgers. They used to have this. They used to have a hot dog at a &W called a whistle dog. It smacks so hard. Bacon cheese. I feel like pickle onion, pickle onion, like a special sauce. And they used to split it, grill it. What they got rid of it. From what I know. But yeah, I uh, I ran out to do late night grocery shopping to pick up items for subscriber sponsored request video that I'm shooting tomorrow. So that'll be out in like a day or two. But that's what I love. I love running to the grocery store. Like 45 minutes before it closes at night. Just so quiet, dead, easy. So much easier. The only sometimes annoying shit is like they might be out of stock. Of certain things by that time at night so you do run that risk okay I gotta say it I really dislike the pickles actually They're not good at all.
Granted, I'm not a huge fan of bread and butters. I can deal with them, but these ones are specifically a different type of like not that great. They have this really weird perfumey like aromatic like rank about them to be honest. Not my jam. And I'll also say this, some of you might remember when I made a Nashville chicken sandwich or two of them actually. Like from scratch, like at this point I wanna say like five years ago, like early on when I first started doing any cooking videos. And those were a standout moment of food that I've made in my channel. Like I remember biting into that thing and being like, whoa. And to date, that's probably the best Nashville chicken sandwich I've ever had. Was homemade by me. And I'll also say, it felt like a complete and total fluke. Like, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. But it came out absolutely, like, magnificent. I know you guys are going to be so mad that I'm not going to finish this, but I don't want it. I'm just that. I'm perfectly full. I get perfectly full. Also, it's just not that good. And that's why I hold it to say this. It's a, Well, for me, it's a one-time buy. I would not get this again. Ever at all. Like, I would never crave this. Um, I just personally think it's very... It's very 5 out of 10 for me. The sauce itself isn't that flavorful. The chicken wasn't great. And the pickles suck. Team burger slaps every time. Can't go wrong. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.